Meow meow everyone, it's Shadow Cat here. Yeah, I got potions here with me. Potion, meow, 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 meow. Alright, so here's the thing. I do got my lights on and everything. One thing though, I'm only hearing through here. I don't really hear anything through here, which is uh, a problem and I don't like that. So we are back playing some more uh, trick and treat. Uh, <laughs> visual novel. So, I mean, I'm gonna try and see if I, if I did get any saved parts, because I went through the whole freaking one. I forgot to do that. But let's see how it goes. Uh, I think here is where I, like, just left the cat. Where I, like, I took up the cat. What should I do then? This is the one where I just kill her. So, yes, that is what I have to do. It is the only logical. The magic should die along with the cat. That should be my take it back. I mustn't doubt. Just act fast. It just act, act fast so it hurts. Uh, as least as possible, you would think. Everything ends tonight. Finally, people from the, from this town won't be able to live in peace without f fearing that the that this cursed cat would make any anyone else disappear. Killing a living creature is easy. The only thing I have to do is grab. Grab her neck and twist it. You twist it with all your strength until you hear a snap as if it were a branch. After that, she will not move anymore. You don't have to think, just act. In silence, I observe how my hands move to her neck to carry out my plans. I don't even want to imagine what my expression looks like at this moment. I must be terrified. My s concentration must be eerie for anyone who could see me, even pugnant. The cat does not resist. Fearful, she does nothing more than trouble. Ignorant for what would happen to her, but knowing that I have no good intentions, I am ready to apply force. But suddenly, she scratches my face with a quick and precise attack. <sighs> God damn it. Immediately, I let out. I let go of her while crying in agony, covering my face with both hands. I discovered that, despite the pain, part of me cannot stop thinking I deserved that for trying to kill her, kill another living being. <clears throat> Evil or not, she's she only tried to defend. Her life. When the pain recedes, I look down, only to find that the cat is on the ground, showing me her fangs with an aggressive posture, just like before I caught her. What followed was something that I would have never even imagined. Suddenly, the cat starts emerging in bright light. It's even more intense than my flashlight. Little by little, the cat changes her shape. The figure that now appears in front of me, this silhouette, is one that I can easily recognize. She was becoming human. 
The impression leaves me speechless. I shake my head in denial, unable to accept that I am seeing as seeing as real. But it was no illusion. Now, now what is in front of my eyes is not a cat, but a girl of nor extraordinary beauty. She stares at me with the cold red eyes. Unlike before, there is no hatred in them. She seemed rather sad, as if she felt guilty of something just by looking at my face. Suddenly, she speaks to me. Sorry, you wanted to take my life, but I'll take yours instead. That is the best choice I can make tonight. She said, Rifly, ruefully, it is a little strange that I'm only hearing through here and not here. But it is what it is. Sometimes it's like that. Uh, I hear no hatred in her voice. In this voice, my my life, my life. Are you going to kill me? I act still. Con Confused by the shock. It has to be a joke. A cat is going to kill me. I must be dreaming. There is no other explanation for it. Suddenly my hands and suddenly my hands, my feet, my fingers, my heart, they all feel an intense cold. In just an instant. All the warmth of my body was stolen. So, shortly after, I fell down to the ground, weak, as if it were a puppet with its strings cut. Did she kill me? Oh, my vision quickly begins to cloud, becoming dark. My death is real. The last thing I see before disappearing is the red in the eyes of the girl shining with a feeling of rep, 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 repentance. And I'm dead, great. Did, <laughs> yep, what is this one? I forget. Uh, what should I do? I don't remember what I did last time. Escape from the cat or confront the cat? Escape from the cat. Huh. Anyways, it is best for me to escape from this cursed cat. I make my... I made a mistake by bringing her with me. That cat only brings problems. I don't feel very sure about that voice, but perhaps it can guide me to the exit. It sounds kind and certainly I don't want to stay with this animal. that in mind, I try to move forward, but the cat blocks my path. No matter how hard I try to move, no matter how hard I try, she moves faster than me, showing me her claws and fangs furiously, as if preparing to attack me. My instinct tells me that I should, that it would be better to not go one step further. I don't know what she can do, but that cat is dangerous. Suddenly, the cat began, begins to meow thunderously, almost making me deaf. My heart skips a beat with each of them, as if I were hearing a wild roar furious. My breathing becomes ignited. Those males are wrecking my nerves. 
I have no other way. I have no other way out. I don't care about the voice anymore. All I want is to lose the cat from sight. So not wasting a second more, I start to run to the opposite direction, begging she was not following me. I run through the forest, not looking back, forgetting about everything except my desire to get away from her. I have no idea where I'm going or how long it's been since I started to run, but I don't care. My lungs burn and my heart beats anxiously, begging me for a rest, but I cannot give myself the luxury, that luxury. Stronger than the stronger than the pleas of rest from my body, the pleas from my soul crying, terrified, asking me to continue running until I can't anymore. Sometimes I hear this strange voice again sounding in my head, but when it happens the echo of the Cat's gals are heard throughout the forest, freezing my blood again and reminding me that I cannot stop. I feel sorry for the voice, but I can't answer your call. I'm so desperate that more than three times I've fallen flat on my ground, on the ground, and <laughs> many more times hurt with the branches of trees. Gotta watch those trees, man. But that pain doesn't stop me. I bet it wouldn't. I'll keep running until my legs can't. I'll keep running until my legs can't go one single step further. 2:57 a.m. Hmm. I don't know how. I don't know for how long I have been running, but for s some minutes I haven't heard any of them. Neither the voice nor the meows. Much to my relief. Finally, I stop running. Finally, I stop resting my hands on my knees and feeling the verge of fainting. I breathe using my mouth trying to fill my lungs with as much air as I can. Why my legs hurt as if they had been hammered briskly. But this pain does not bother me because I finally feel safe. Suddenly I look only to find something that fills me with joy. I see the exit of the forest. I did it. I did it. I escaped the demonic forest. I didn't become another victim of the disappearances. Just thinking about it almost brings tears to my eyes. Axel, Axel. Suddenly I hear someone calling my name, but it isn't any strange voice. It's the voices of my friends who were looking for me. Hey, over here! I shout without hesitation with a bit of difficulty because of my shortness of breath. Soon they found me and patiently run towards me. Where were you? The, the worry was killing us, Stephen said with a face that I don't remember having even seen before. Before answering, I take breath deep. Inside the forest, I couldn't find the exit. 
That's strange. After that hit us, we both woke up out of the woods. We thought that you'd be close, but we couldn't find you anywhere. Explained Alfred, who also looks at me with great relief on his face. And you didn't try to find me in the forest? I said, feeling a little ang feeling annoyed because they didn't go to save me as great friends. Instantly, both Stephen and Alfred shake their heads in denial. I didn't want to go back in. Alfred said, almost eating nails from it. Imagining it. Me either. After seeing what that demonic cat. Seeing that demonic cat? No. <laughs> also, we had hopes that you would be outside just as we were. I sigh after hearing them, but I soon forget my annoyance. Well. Well, I really can't blame you. The most important thing is that we are all safe. Yes, but that was somewhat terrifying. Confessed Stephen with a pale face. After after that roar, I didn't know what was going to become of us. I was I was about to tell them about all I had to go through, but just before saying a word, I changed my mind. They didn't need to know. The important thing is that we escaped and nobody got hurt. Well, I think we've had enough of this test of courage. We should better get back home. I said, looking terrified, horribly tired. Without hesitation, both of them respond with a nod. After that, everyone started to walk back home without looking back. Despite everything, I have to say that our main goal was fulfilled. We had a memorable night. The legend is true. Now I know it. And that's a fin. It's the one I wanted to save. Um, I think I picked her up last time. Let's see what happens if I ignore the cat. It is best to continue without waking her. The cat is dangerous. It's my. It's her fault that I ended up in the in this place. And my friends are missing. I don't know what else that cat is capable of doing, so I decide it's better to leave it behind and continue walking. I soon lost to sight of the cat. Once more, I find myself in a dark forest, walking aimless aimlessly, only moving forward, but it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. Come here. Here you'll be safe. Suddenly I stop. It was probably easy to see the disbelief in my face at that moment. Yeah, it would be nice to know, to hear it too, to see it, I mean. It's that voice again. I whispered to myself with no one to listen to me. Shortly after I got away from that, from the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. 
It is a feminine voice, soft and gentle, as if it belonged it belonged to a princess from a fairy tale. But I can't trust it. Am I really going crazy, or is or is it this forest that doesn't make any sense? I don't know, but I don't like any of the two options. Don't be afraid. Come with me. I'll help you. Every time the voice is heard more clearly, stronger and more often, she seems to be leading me somewhere. It does not inspire me with confidence, but between the voice and staying here in this future putrid forest that seems to be seems to have no end I choose to follow shortly after I arrive at a clearing of the forest at least I can see the night sky the full moon shines elegantly surrounding surrounded by a blanket of darkness and st stars a beautiful image, but there is something strange in it. How weird. How weird. Is there a half moon tonight? I said to myself as I look in the moon and try to remember a vague memory of my mind. Anyway, it is, it is not important. The moon will not come to save me. There it is. I lowered my sight. It was then that I noticed there was a cabin in the clearing. It was hidden under the shade of the trees nearby, so I didn't see it before, I think. The cabin looks old and worn down, even this, even depressing, but if I'm lucky, there may be someone there. Open the door. I'm waiting for you, my knight. Suddenly, I hear the voice again. It was in this cabin, no doubt. Somehow, her voice sounds different this time. It has an unexplicable kindness, even love, as if, as if I were a man returning home to see his wife, <laughs> yeah. After thinking about it for a moment, I can't help but laugh at myself. How, so, how silly, I must be really losing my mind. I said as a joke, hiding my anxiety with humor. In any case, there's nothing else for me than to open the door. However, I can't stop thinking that I'm forgetting something. My hand then slowly opens the door of the cabin. What awaits me there? is something that leaves me perplexed. The body of the five missing people were hanging as if they were puppets, with empty eyes, but all of them are facing me. And between them is a woman with a big smile. I opened my eyes wide with amazement and my lips got dry. Finally, I remembered what I was forgetting when it was too late. Thank you for saving me by giving me your life, said the voice with an indescribable love. but. Announcing my horrible 
destiny. It's true, Matthew disappeared in the in a clearing without any trace. I have no breath to speak. I have no breath to speak. I just know that we can add someone more to the list. I think it's this one. What should I do? Just keep it captured. Uh, I've read all these already. Technically, I kind of already like did the uh, the truster part. I'm gonna do the uh, doubter now. Doubt. Despite what she says and how cute she is, I cannot tr trust in her words. This cat is the reason why I'm here, so I decide to ignore it and continue my journey. Also, I cannot know if the girl's voice is truly evil, as if, she, as if truly evil as she says. It could be another way. 
Without saying more, I start to walk the opposite direction, passing behind her without even looking at her. That was very rude of me, but I must not forget who I'm dealing with. Wait, where are you going? I actually said with the face of disbelief. I don't blame her. Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Stop. I said stop. Ashley begins to cry at me. Stop. But my decision is already made. I don't even look back. Soon I can't hear her anymore. I know that she is still close, but it seems she is given up on me. For a moment, the doubt of why she did not use her magic enters my mind, but I guess I wouldn't understand no matter how much I thought, how much I thought about it. With each moment pa that passes, the air becomes more heavy and I cover my nose and mouth with my hand as if I could as oh, well, if I could I would stop breathing this rotten air but that doesn't stop me from moving forward after all this must be one of the dirty tricks used by Ashley to scare me scare away others after all of this she calls herself good I can't believe it now all my hopes lies with the voice she must be the one who can save me here you are going well I don't know if it's been hours or only minutes since I became separated from Ashley. I had lost the notion of time when suddenly I came to a clearing in the forest. At least I can see the night sky, the full moon, blah, 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 blah. Open the door slowly, open the window inside. Apparently, it's empty. How weird. I murmured to myself, confused. Desperately, the voice came from this place. I'm sure of it. I rub my forehead with anxiety and then sigh. It's still very early to get impatient. I should. Explore the cavern. I slowly walk around the place, taking each step carefully. It is old and neglected. There are cobwebs everywhere, as if it, as if it hadn't been cleaned in years. The air inside is musty. Curious, the cabin appears to have none of the modern common trees, telephone, electricity, water pipes. The impression I get is that it is even older than it appears, something that sounds impossible. I continue exploring until finally I find till finally I find in one of the rooms what I wanted. Laying peacefully in the bed, there is a girl sleeping with blonde hair and clothes as black as the feathers of a raven.
With just one look, I can say that she is very beautiful. Brave knight, you have finally arrived. She surely said... Asleep. There was no mistake. She is the source of the voice, of that voice. She is asleep, but knows my presence. Knows of my presence in some strange way. Yes, I'm here. I said, acting with big courage, not knowing why. I guess I wanted to look strong for this girl, despite me being completely helpless. <laughs> it is then that she opens her eyes slowly, even with laziness. They are very beautiful blue eyes. She looks at me closely for a couple of seconds, staring at my face with curiosity until expe unexpectedly a tear springs from her blue eyes, gently falling down her cheek. Thank you for coming. I was very scared. Suddenly she pounces me, giving me a tight hug full of affection, as if we had not seen each other in years. I was very afraid. Everything was terrifying here. She said while trembling with her face pressed against my chest. She looks really scared, but who wouldn't? After all, that evil cat has done. I won't forgive her for frightening a girl as cute as her. Although it is pretty... Although it is partly thanks to that, I can... I could find her. In the end, there is good to see in the bad. Don't worry, miss. I will help you get out of here. I said, trying to comfort her with a false attitude of courage while placing my hands around her, returning the hug. She was an elegant and beautiful figure, and as and a soft body pleasant to the touch. Okay, jeez, you don't get too detailed. Okay. I can't... I don't have any more strength. Replied the girl, almost lamenting herself for that. She doesn't break the hug, and I couldn't be any more thankful for that. I could carry you on your on my back. So we can leave this forest. I've offered us a caress. I offered as I caress her head. Her golden hair is silk, silky and exquisite to the touch. To be honest, I could not resist stroking it. Then the girl finally pulls away from me. She stays in the she stays at the distance of just one step, staring at my eyes with shyness. With her hands on her chest, her cheeks have a cute blush. I think you don't understand. I am a spirit that lives in this forest. She explained with a gentle voice. Before I could materialize myself, since people came to visit me, and the joy they felt gave me energy, I spent many pleasant times with them. Then the girl looks down. She seems to recall something sad. Until one day, when the evil cat began to scare everyone, suddenly I began to feel weak and, well, 
now I'm like this because of her. She blinks after saying that. She looks fragile as if she were going to cry at any moment. I look into her blue eyes, feeling pity for her. Damned cat, how can you do that to such a cute girl? Then... Then... How could I help you if you cannot materialize? I ask with curiosity. The girl suddenly diverted her gaze, avoiding my eyes. She blushes, blushes and shyly plays with her fingers for a moment before looking at me in the face. Hmm. I think if... Hmm. I think that if you kiss me, I could regain some of my strength. I can't believe it. My heart almost stops when I hear it. Just a kiss would be enough? I ask, struggling to not sound like a pervert. <laughs> I think it's too late for that, dude. Entertaining this forest was... Entering this forest was the worst decision of my life, but going after the voice turned out to be the best. Yes, because your feelings won't be transmitted to me. The girl said at the same time she closes her eyes and nods. Then look on. The look on her eyes slightly begs me to do it. Staring at me with an innocence that is simply adorable. After hearing her proposal, I start to think about my current situation. If she were an evil entity, perhaps she would ask me for more. Creep things as given as giving her blood to give her my soul as giving my giving her blood to give her my soul or to make a donation on PayPal. <laughs> okay, Jesus dude. The third thing being clearly the worst, okay. But this poor soul just asks for a kiss. She has been alone all this time. If I, if I kiss her, then kiss her, she will have enough strength to escape. I doubt it seems an obvious choice to kiss such a cute girl to save her. But everything sounds too sweet. All suddenly, right. I don't remember my luck being this good. Soon I remember what that cat said. Not wanting it, doubt appears on my mind. Should I kiss her? Okay, this is a choice. Okay. Boop. I mean, I might as well. I want to. I mean, for now, I'm going to kiss her. Yes. I shouldn't doubt. That pure soul needs my help. Plus, winning the favor of a beautiful girl always is a good thing in my book. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Okay. Okay, I'll kiss you. So that we can escape. Is that good? I said, acting with bravery, as if a knight of some tale. Thank you. Definitely, you're my knight in shining armor. She said with a radiant smile. Don't say it so openly. You're making me blush. I replied at the same time. I scratch my head, ashamed. My heart beats nervously just from imagining it. My lips will soon touch 
This adorable girl's lips. How lucky am I? The girl then was her sight with the shy face. Excuse me, but I always say what I think. She then returns her sight to my eyes, seeing me tenderly. Every time I am more surprised of how adorable she is. Nothing like that annoying cat. Well, I wouldn't say that. I take a deep breath in preparing. I take a deep breath in preparation, showing resolve in my eyes. The girl nods and then closes her eyes, purring, preparing her lips to receive mine. She is sweetly blushing. I can't believe my fortune. This would be my first kiss, and it's one worthy of a fairy tale. I near my lips to hers. They are soft but strangely cold, as if they were kissing an ice flower. <laughs> but I don't care. The feeling inside me is warm. Her lips move gently, inviting me to continue with our kiss. A sweet touch, romantic like nothing else. However, the sweetness soon dies, being replaced with a stabbing pain, as if someone had stabbed me with stabbed a sword made of ice into my back. Without even thinking, I break the kiss and pull away from her. What are you doing? What did you do? I asked, looking incredible. Crucially at the girl. What was going on? I feel so cold, as if someone had stolen all my heat from my body. I also feel heavy and weak. I can barely stay standing. But there was no response. Before she could talk, suddenly something attacks us with such a power that it destroys part of the cavern, opening a large hole that connects to the outside. I can't even begin to imagine what, what, what it was. It was like seeing a wrecking ball doing its job. I immediately looked for the culprit, finding it. It was not the girl in black, but someone else. Curse is too late, Ashley said, biting her lip in anguish. You really are an idiot. Do you know what you've done? She then said, looking at me with burning anger. This time she is not playing. She was really angry with me. What? Suddenly I s suddenly said the girl in black with Delicious smile. What? Is it that you can't stand knowing I am now stronger than you? She throws a smug at smug look at Ashley. Or maybe you are just jealous that a man prefers me over you. But of course, considering how annoying you are. Ashley bites her lip in anxiety. Curses. I didn't think I would have to use this. But if I do nothing, everything will be lost. After saying that, she sets her eyes on me. 
I'm sorry for what I'm going to do, but since you didn't listen to me, I have no other choice. Suddenly, Ashley approaches me as fast as the blink of an eye. I try to move... move me, but I don't have the strength to do it. I can only stay standing, motionless, watching as she suddenly plants a kiss on my lips. Don't worry, you won't feel pain, Ashley said when our lips parted. I don't understand what it means, but soon something happens to me. I feel how, I feel how the little energy left in me goes extinct. The color of my skin becomes pale. My breathing suddenly stops. I feel very tired and I barely can see past my nose. With this, we are on equal terms. I hope this is enough energy. Ash said while looking with resolve in her red eyes at the girl in black. Who at all times maintains a proud smile. That was the last thing I saw before my eyelids closed. Being wrapped by an icy darkness. It's okay. I'm just falling asleep. Soon I will wake up in my bed to have another boring and ordinary day. It's okay. It's um... uh. Don't kiss her. Don't do it. Despite how adorable the girl is, there's something about her explanation that doesn't sound right at all. Everything seems too convenient to be true. Is it possible for luck to suddenly have improved? Uh, sometimes. While I think about it, she unexpectedly gets closer to me and then looks at me with puppy eyes. So adorable they could charm anyone. Are you going to do it? She asks with innocence. I don't know what to do in this situation. But wait, before we do that, we haven't even properly introduced ourselves. I said clearly nervous. I can feel my heart beating anxiously as the girl stares at me. She blinks confused and then smiles sweetly. My name is... My name is Lillian. She doesn't look angry at the least. The girl defiantly has something special. Definitely has something special. My name is Axel. I said in a robotic voice. However, it doesn't seem to bother her. I show her a nervous smile. I have to say something else to stop her, but nothing comes to mind. Without any shyness, Lillian gets closer to me. She has no problem in taking the initiative. Her eyes suddenly become naughty. Something in them makes my blood warm. It's a pleasure, Axel. Very much appreciate. I very much appreciate your help. She begin. She brings her lips closer to mine, and then places her arms around my neck to prevent my escape. Wow, okay. That gesture alone freezes me in place. I 
watched her slowly approach me closer and closer until I felt her soft lips, lips against mine. At that moment, I felt as if I had been possessed. My desires to desires to take control of my body, facing me, forcing me to kiss her passionately, as if we were lovers seeing each other after a long time. I closed my eyes. I don't need to see. I only need to feel the warm love and taste of her lips. However, the sweetness soon dies, be replaced with the stabbing pain, as if someone had stabbed a warm, stabbed a sword made of ice into my back. Without even thinking, I break the kiss and pull slowly from her. What do you, what did you do? I looked in cruel and tread closely at the girl. What was going on? I feel cold. I feel so cold as if someone had stolen half of half the heat from my body. Oh half. Okay. I also feel heavy as stone. But there was no answer. Before she could talk, suddenly something attacks us with such power it destroys part of the cavern opening a large hole in the I can't even begin to imagine what it was a uh, breaking ball I blow it the blow was strong enough to push me away from Lillian she seems equally as surprised as me, I immediately get up and look from the for the culprit. The answer surprised me. You're really an idiot. What are you doing? Ashley said, furious. Suddenly, she takes my hand with superhuman strength. It was vastly superior to what her fit appearance would suggest. She dragged me away from the cabin as if kidnapping me. I couldn't do anything to stop her. Two twenty three, uh, three twenty three. Sorry. <laughs> oh man, are they dying? Whatever. In just a few minutes, we got very far. In just a few minutes, we got very far away from the cabin. I'll leave them off now. I mean, they're probably dead. Uh, well, the uh, the light source is probably dead. In just a few minutes, we got very far away from the cabin. How quickly Ashley. Ryan impresses me. She is definitely not human. She finally lets me free. My hand was red and hurt from how strong she her grip was. But fortunately, I feel better from the kiss. My body had recovered its heat and energy. Why the heck did you do that? I asked him only with anger. Just this cat thinks she is to do something like this. I should be asking you that. Ashley replied, looking at me in her eyes with contempt. Because of you, she has already recovered most of her powers. She then explained, ending with the face of rejection diverting her look from my eyes. She was overreacting, maybe. What 
what are you talking about? She only wants to be free from you. I said with annoyance, I simply can't, couldn't believe her. Neither, neither of the two girls in this forest seem trustworthy. That is misfortune considering how beautiful they are. You really are an idiot. Ashley said, looking at me with her red eyes full of contempt. Yes, you want to be she wants to be free to fulfill her revenge. Can't you understand that? The only one that don't that I don't understand here is you. Help oh, patient. My patience had end, ended long ago, and I'm in the middle, and I am in the mood for a scolding. Okay, it's not gonna go well for you, stupid human. To be so easily seduced by her, all men are equal. None can think with the right head. Ashley folds her arms and exclaims with annoyance while looking at me as if I were a spoiled child. <laughs> because of your reckless because of your reckless actions, we are in a serious trouble. Ashley sighs frustrated. If, if you only had believed me this wouldn't be happening. But what are you? But what are you talking about? She must be freed since she is suffering. I said, but without hesitation, I cannot forget the sweet words of that girl, Lillian. Suddenly, Ashley gives me a piercing look, sharp as a knife. believe her story. She is deceiving you, idiot. That's what she wants you to believe. And how do you know that? I ask being suspicious. I do not like this girl. She really is too bossy and nagging. You idiot. Didn't you notice when she was absorbing your vital energy? Ashley said, trying. Ashley said, tearing down, tearing down your second, in a second of all. Sorry, I just can't read all of a sudden. Of my doubt and resistance with a look of anger in her red eyes. Yes, that's what she was doing, absorbing you just like she did in the past with those five unfortunate men. She explained while stare, staring me. The last victim was 20 years old. Since that day, I promised that nobody else would get close to her. Hearing that called my attention immediately. And why did you do that? Ashley looked distraught after seeking after speaking of the death of that man. I wonder if she felt guilty for that. If she gets if she gets her hands one more victim, she will fully recover her powers. And once she achieves it, she will begin her revenge for what your ancestors did to her. Ancestors. 
worst of all is worst of all is that with the energy you have given her is she is now able to leave this forest and search for at least for a last victim is that the truth I asked in Grimloom I didn't like the sound of it sound of it if it's true we could be in big trouble not only me but everyone Ashley bites her lip in anxiety yes what's worse is I have no energy to deal with her after saying after saying that she looks at me in anger since since a certain group of idiots decided to come here for God knows what I can't respond I can't respond to that I only feel guilty I could get rid of your friends but for some reason I couldn't with you come with you you have a stronger magical power than normal Ashley explains ending with a sigh of frustration what did you do with my friends I asked firmly without even hesitating thinking that they could be wandering could be wounded gave me fierce gave me force but perhaps I was just overreacting don't worry they are safe the only I only made them leave from the forest Ashley replied holding her arms then she sighs but but creating the illusion of getting them out left me very weak is that way you were lying on the ground when I found you I said recalling that moment she was wounded and unconscious I couldn't help but feel sorry for her at that time yes but also it did help that I had a fight with the innocent princess you saw before she looks back at me on pleased but this time just for a moment after saying that we both remain quiet allowing silence to surround us it's been a while since I last heard the voice calling me I think that I caused being useful to Lillian as Ashley said Suddenly, Ashley snaps her fingers. Wait, there is still a chance. She said it full of energy. There is glimmer of hope in her eyes. Then she sets her sights on me. Hear me well. This is the only way to defeat her Ashley speaks with her usual arrogance but I notice a slight blush in her cheeks what is it I ask curious to hear the, her idea do you remember what she asked you to do to help her regain power Ashley asks blushing more she then coughs a few times to clear her throat. Yes, she told me to kiss her. I replied without even thinking about it. But shortly after, I realized what I'm saying. Wait, you want me to kiss you too? 
I ask and I could certainly, I don't know if I should feel lucky or used, to be honest. You idiot. It's not that I want to want a kiss from you. Ashley roared, then she diverts her sight from my eyes, making a snort of rejection. It's just that it's the only way to achieve this. Besides, what she did was not kissing you. It was stealing your life energy. <laughs> what she did was stealing my vital energy with a kiss? How ironic. Said sarcastically. The memory still fresh in my lips. If not for the small detail of the thief of vital energy, it would have been a great kiss. Ashley at that time seems to shiver. Then she looks at me furious. It seems that your brain does not understand the complexity of this issue. I do not plan to steal your life energy. My intention is to get energy from your feeling of feelings of love. After saying that, she looks away embarrassed. Did I hear her right? Did I hear right? Someone... Something here sounds completely wrong. Wait, what are you trying to say? Ashley coughs twice to kill her throat. If your f feelings for me are full of love, I can regain my energy. She said, unable to look at, to look me in the eyes. Her face is red as an apple. This has to be a joke, but that's impossible. How can I feel love for someone I've just met? I wouldn't say this to anyone. Please, help me, insignificant human. She said with forced arrogance. At the same time, she looks at me, saying with her eyes that I should be thankful. The way, she, the way in which she acts is not very correct, honestly, but correct honestly, but she did her best effort to do so. That can be seen in plain sight. However, should I trust her word? She has been causing me many problems tonight. I was even chased, attacked, and kidnapped by her. Then should I... even kiss her here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't ignore her pa petition. I know that she has not been the kindest girl, but somehow I think she's telling the truth. Okay. I'm going to help you. But tell me, what should I do? I ask at the same time I look her in the eyes in her red eyes with determination. Ashley nods a couple times. She seems pleased with your, with my answer. It's simple. Just share your feelings of love towards me. She now responds with more confidence. I can't help but sigh after hearing it. Something here is wrong. Sorry, but I cannot do that. Well, we just met each other. I 
I do feel some empathy for you, but it wouldn't be right to call it love. I explained with frustration in my face. She asked too much from me. Ashley then places a hand against her lips, making a positive gesture. I see. It is a feeling that cannot be achieved in a single day. Of course not, silly cat. Have you never been in love? Well, there is one alternative, but I don't want to use it because... Oh, sorry. Well, there is one alternative, but I don't want to use it because it would do you harm. I blew confused after hearing her. What is the alternative? I asked while staring at her face. My god, I've been out here for like an hour and 18 minutes. My god. Can this end? To suck your vital... Suck your... Vital... Lady... As Lillian did. Ashley explains with various serious look. She then diverts her gaze, feeling disgust at the simple idea. But I'm not going to do it. If I remove the vital energy you have left, you will die. Certainly, I do not want that. Then, if you don't have enough energy to fight, what will you do? This is not looking good. If you don't have those feelings for me, then me, there is not much that can be done, replied Ashley, ending with a sigh of annoyance. Anyway, I will go and face her, even if I have to give my life in the fight. She says with such, with so much sympathy, sympathy, that it seems she doesn't care for her own life. Wait, is there really nothing I can do to help you? I interrupted immediately. I cannot let her just go like that. At least I had to do something. However, small that may be. How could how could you help me? That look Ashley gave called me an idiot without saying a word. While we're in the same team, I think that same thing simply will never change. I stay silent for a moment, looking down while I think on a solution. Ashley stares at me, impatient. I don't feel love towards you, but once I felt it for someone else, I could try to remember those feelings so that you can use them as energy? Ashley thinks deeply for a moment. I guess it's worth a try. She said, not sounding very convinced, but it was certainly better than nothing. After that, the two of us stared at each other's eyes for a couple of seconds without saying a word. Then we suddenly divert our looks at the same time, embarrassed. We were acting like kids. Are you ready? Ashley asked almost lovingly. It's easy to notice that she was taking this seriously. I nod. Yes, however, you want... We can start. I replied just before closing my eyes and trying with all my heart to receive that image. 
Suddenly, Ashley holds my hands. Even with my eyes closed, I can feel her presence near. That makes me somewhat nervous, but I have to relax. I exhale, letting I exhale, letting a my concerns go with go out with my breath. Her hands softly caress mine to help me relax. Then I start to remember something that happened many years in my past. When I was young, every summer I went to my grandparents' house to visit them. I didn't like it because they had nothing fun there. Only a, an old TV and dusty books that I had no interest in reading. However, whenever I went there, I could see her, a girl with brown long hair who always had a cute dress. When I saw her for the first time, I could feel a strange fascination for her, for her fragile and explicable beauty. I watched her at a distance without knowing what this feeling was. I only knew that something in her called me. It was more than just beautiful. Her beauty was something that with many layers, with many f facets. Her gestures, her expressions, her way of playing, they were all beautiful. Finally, one day, I had the courage to ask her to play together. Without even thinking about it, she told me yes. All that afternoon, we spent playing until it inevitably began to get dark. She was a simple girl, enjoyed playing as anyone else, but still, I could not remove my eyes from her. When the day ended, she had, she said goodbye to me without a radiant smile. I had forgotten it, how beautiful it was, how astonished I was after seeing it. After that day, I never got to see her again. Last thing I knew, her family moved to another country. I do not know if that was a... presented love. just my inexperienced feelings confused with something new but without a doubt but without a doubt it was beautiful I do not want to forget it again ever again then unexpectedly I feel Ashley giving me a shy kiss on the lips it was ephemeral, only lasted enough to feel it, to know that it was real. But at the same time, that was that shyness gave it a special beauty. It was a sweet kiss. There are no more words to describe it. No more words to describe it. I opened my eyes, finding Ashley one step away from me, completely blushing and looking away from me. She is silent, but 
doesn't look angry at the least. Her red eyes are gentle, although embarrassed. Are you alright? I asked with kindness while I look at her. My heart is calmed quickly after the kiss. I don't show show it, but somehow I feel liberated, lighter. Ashley turns her head and looks me in the eyes. Yes, thank you. She said with shyness. However, she then breathes deep and magically recovers her proud attitude. I believe that was that this will be enough to stop her. The plan was a success. I'm really the sand was a success. I'm really pleased. That's fantastic to hear. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple times. When she is not scolding, I must confess that she is very cute. Anyway, we can't wait any longer. Every second we talk, Lillian must be using it to plan her revenge. We have to go now and stop her. Ashley explains, acting with complete seriousness. Our little break had ended. Y yes, let's go. Was my short response overflowing with determination? There is no more to say. 340. Oh my god. 340. The way back to the cabin fills short this time. Before I knew it, it was in front of my eyes. Lillian is outside, next to the door. She was waiting for us. Brave knight, I see you finally came. She said with a confident smile. Her attitude is very diff different from the first time I saw her. Just from looking at her, I'm sure of it. She is not any innocent soul. It's a shame. It's a shame to see you with that woman. I had hopes for you. Axel won't be fooled by you again. Thank you again. Ashley replied, t talking to my place. At that moment, I see Lillian make a grimace of disgust. But soon, she recovers her look of confidence. I wanted Axel to be my companion, since he kindly came to rescue me. But, oh well, it's not important. I already got enough energy from him. With that alone, I have surpassed you. Finally, I will be able to get rid of you, Ashley. Said Lillian, pronouncing her name with a mocking tone, while giving us a malicious smile. Her victory was in the palm of her hands. Ashley instantly roars furious. You won't know. You won't know until you try it. After saying that, she crosses her arms with pride. Once I beat you, nothing shall stop me from completing my revenge. Why do you want to do that? It's been far too long. The people won't hurt you. The people who hurt you are already gone. And not even the memory of the crime committed here exists anymore. 
It's just a village of innocent people. You're right. But someone has to suffer. Responded Lily Lillian with, without hesitation, not doubting a single moment, leaving a com completely cold. Wow, I've been at this for an hour and 33 minutes and my thing has been dead for like, they still go on, they do for like a little while and then they shut off. Uh, after seeing my reaction to her answer, she d directed an evil, evil. She directed an evil smile right at me as if her words meant nothing. That makes me angry. And what do you... And what do you win by doing that? I yell at the same time. I close my hands to fists. I simply... I simply couldn't accept it. It was too much. I just want them to suffer. Uh, excuse me. I just want them to suffer like I did. If I don't make them suffer, then who will? Who will be carried for this hate that every day eats at me from inside like parasites which sicken me, which sicken me and deform me? Lillian pauses. It is unfair that I continue to suffer while they are innocent. Lillian then speaks out of the same time she hits her chest, showing how much she means for it. This is more than pain. It is the proof of my existence. She pauses and I exhales. Claiming herself, calming herself. Anyway, enough with speeches. I will end you and then bring my revenge to the town's townspeople. Then, without saying anything more, the battle between the two began. It was something that my mind could not comprehend. A show, a show of power and magic that deformed reality itself. Actually, repeatedly attacks by firing a strong, translucent power, as if hot air. Just from seeing it, I know that. It has enough strength to knock down a house, but Lillian doesn't even blink. She, she calmly moves her hand, creating a barrier that reflects her attacks each time. Intriguingly, it was Ashley who was most active. She attacked impressively from many different angles. While Lillian stays still, reflecting her attacks and fighting back, always with a smile on her face. After seeing that those attacks will not have effect, Ashley changes strategy. She transforms herself into an imaginary white beast and changes, charges against Lillian. However, Lillian transforms her body like her, just like her, into an unknown dark being and resists her attacks. Ashley regains human form, making a grimace of disgust. Both had wounds after this confrontation, but then, before my eyes, 
I saw how they place their hands on their wounds and heal them magically. Comparing the two, apparently the two have the same powers. The only thing different was their personalities. There are simply no words to describe it. At least my mind was not able to find them. I only know that during the fight, neither of the two seemed to have an advantage, advantage over the other. Everything indicated it was an even match. On several occasions, I behold bright and colorful lights, superhuman abilities, manipulation of bodies, teleportation, healing transformation, and many other powers that seem to come out of a fairy tale. The combat seems to last forever. Every second, every attack and defense were loaded with so much tension and emotion that time had simply disappeared from me. The only thing that captured my attention was seeing the two girls fighting in such a furious and a fantastic way. Such a Finally, after an unknown time, both fall on the ground, bloody. They look at into each other's eyes. The blue eyes behold the red uh, red ones. Vice and vice versa. Both of them smile, ashy prou proudly, Lillian with irony. It seems that the two were anticipating the end. You did very well. I didn't expect it. Lillian said with honesty. You doubted him? Doubted of me, stupid girl? Ashley replied with arrogance, even though her lips were stained with blood. Leah then shows us a smile full of malice. You have always been like that. Even a even a moral death. Mater material death you consider a victory. You are really an idiot. You should be more selfish. It's strange, but she does not sound angry at the least. You may be right, but all I wanted was us to stop you. Replied Ashley, proud of herself. There was not a hint of regret in her words. Okay, I accept my defeat. But at least in these last moments of my life, I want to be in peace with you. Is that okay? William responds with a friendly smile. To be honest, I was going to say the same thing. It actually ends with an ironic smile. I s silently watch them both as they talk, feeling a strange fascination mixed with an unmistakable feeling of sadness. I just met them this evening, but somehow it pains me to see them as that. Somehow I found, somehow I formed a bond with them. It was then that I see them slowly start to disappear. Suddenly, 
the two turn to set their eyes on me, giving me one last smile. Goodbye, noble knight. I confess I enjoyed kissing you. It wasn't all an act. Lillian said, looking at me with a tenderness that breaks my heart. Thank you. Ashley. I can't help but feel nostalgia at that moment. I knew this was going to be our last goodbye. Even if I didn't want to admit it, that was her fate. Is it all right? Is it all right for it to end like this? Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. Finally, my reason for existence has been fulfilled. I have no regrets. Then... This is our goodbye? Yes. Suddenly she recovers her proud attitude. However, this time was different. She was happy. Really happy. It was a pleasure to it was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you, stupid human. Ashley said with the arrogance of always, as all of always. But now instead of anger, it made me feel like I was about to cry. It was fun to meet you. Said the two surprisingly in unison. They were those were their last words. then disappear. They then disappear. Disappeared. Dis disappeared. Dispued. Dispused. Dis dispersed. No, dispersed. In the form of particles of light. As if small fireflies were escorting, es escaping from their bodies with a beautiful but depressing green color. Without thinking, I run towards them, even if I couldn't do anything. I wanted to touch them one last time, but the only thing my hands were able to reach are the particles of light that slip but between that slip out between my fingers as if they were water then I see the light raise higher and higher until it disappears in the night sky I did it I'm a hero. I'm the one who finally broke the curse. Now no one else will be trapped by it. But then, why do I have this face that looks as if it wants to cry, but has no tears? Why do I feel so terribly bad? Life is more than just victories or defeats. That night I learned it in the best way. Or, okay. I finally get out of the forest and it was almost morning. Axel, Axel. Suddenly I hear someone calling my name, but it wasn't a strange voice. It's the voice of my friends who were looking for me. Hey, hey, over here. I shout without hesitation with a bit of calmness because of my confession. Soon they found me and 
impatiently run towards me. Where were you? The worry was killing us. Stephen said with a face I don't even remember having before. Uh, before answering, I rubbed my forehead. Uh, I couldn't find the forest exit. Alfred was about to say something, but... Before that, I interrupt him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we are all safe. Yes, you are right. I know that they wouldn't believe my story if I told them, so I don't bother to do so. And so, as sudden as it happened, the night was left behind, being replaced by boring days, almost identical days. But at least I had achieved our goal. I had a night worthy of remembering. November 15th, wow, okay. Several days have passed since then. Suddenly I see a cat walk by. Ashley? I ask without even thinking. She turns to look at me confused, but of course she could not be who I spoke of. The cat seemed oddly friendly with humans. She observes me with shyness, but doesn't grow it, growl at me. Without much thought, I decided to adopt her. Maybe in hopes Ashley would come back someday. Even if that was a possible desire, it was an impossible desire. Having this cute cat won't make my make me remember Ashley forever. It might have been just a, a night, but it was an unexpected. It was an experience I could never forget. <laughs> I hold the cat in my hands. She actually looks happy for having a new owner. Seeing like seeing her like that makes me smile. Without a doubt, you will be a good company. And Okay, that's it. Wow. <laughs> I guess that's the true ending, huh? <laughs> Alright. I mean... Writing and English translation, uh, Russian translation, Italian translation, graphic design, original concept programming... God, I wish I could skip all this, but I can't and I don't care too. So, I feel like that was the true ending. Really, I mean... Because it really felt like that. There's also the other ending, the other one where I like I don't like help uh, Ashley at all. I don't know. I might have to see that in another time. But for now, I think that's enough for today. Because uh, I've been at this for like a minute fifty-one, maybe fifty-two minutes. But for now, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm turn it off just because. All right. So. That's going to be uh, it for this one. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. And uh, and if you don't, potions here will not give you any candy. Meow, 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 meow.